Welcome to Vlogmas, day one. Thanksgiving today, and we're about to go ahead and eat us some good food and thank the Lord for this day. We're gonna celebrate God and eat. Okay? So all the religious people that be like, oh my goodness, my kids are celebrating. We're just thanking God and we're eating food. You're gonna tell us we can't eat food on this day because everybody else eating food? Uh, I'm about to show them, uh, uh, I'm not finna show her, I'm just finna play it. Yeah, this is a gospel song. What? But I like it though. Praise God every day. Stop jerking off. Stop jerking off. Stop jerking off. Stop. Stop jerking off. Yeah. Stop jerking off. What? Stop jerking off. Please. Stop jerking off. Huh? What you doing, man? What you doing? Read the word of God. Put your hand in that Bible and stop jerking off. Take your hand out your pants. That's a sin. That's a sin. That's a sin. Not a pain. You can't let the devil win. You can't let the devil win. Guys. <laughs> It came in. Oh, my, my room's very dirty. My room is extremely dirty. But leave it alone. Dude, like, I am at the pinnacle of happiness right now, dude. I am so happy. Let's open this thing up right now, man. Woo! I got that box cutter on me because I just came from work. You know what I'm saying? Getting that money, getting that money. Getting that shmoney, ain't nothing funny. Ain't nothing funny about the shmoney. Ain't nothing shmoney about the shmoney. Ain't nothing funny about the shmoney. Ah! I'm Stop screaming like a little girl, huh? Say with chest. Oh! <laughs> Yo! It, it's here! It, Yo! It's here! It's here! It's here! Ah! Sound like a little girl right now. Say it with your chest. Ah! It's here! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! 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 Thank you, Jesus! And it's one free online lesson! Is this not a guy you are? Say it with your chest. Ah! Chips. Yeah, man. So, no, you got 10 seconds to guess what kind of. You got 10 seconds to guess what it is and then what color it is. All right? I'm going to give you a hint. It's my favorite instrument in the whole wide world. 10 seconds. Put it in the comments right now. You got 10 seconds. Put it in the comments right now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 6. Five, five, four, three, two, two and a half, two and a quarter, two and a pennant, one. All right. Now look at what it is. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. For the whole yep, and I'm scared oh. for you. Listen, once you get in, you're not gonna worry about it. After like two seconds, you're all right. <laughs> what? Somebody no, it's all right. No, I, I was in there for the whole verse. Oh, what? I don't get my phone. Oh, no, this is insane. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Go over there. Go over there. Yeah, boy, that boy about to get clapped. That boy about to get clapped. Yeah, boy, to yeah, get clapped. Yeah. I'm shaking right now in my boots, cuz I'm shaking. <laughs> Let's go, jump in. Look at it. Whoa, boy. What is this? What is about to be? Sing it first. <laughs> Wait, we're gonna get him a shirt. Go I don't know the shirt. <laughs> Come on, Go in the white booty. Go in the white booty. Don't try to sing. Just chill. Just be chill. Don't sing. You can just, you can just be chill. <laughs> Don't look like you're freezing. I know you're freezing. Just don't look like it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, swim, bro. Swim. Oh, Do something. Oh, oh, Tyler. I can't. I can't say it. Oh, my goodness. Say it ain't so. Oh, my goodness. No, no, no. What are we going to name this? What are we going to name this guitar? You really fake it. What you doing? Then this cycle ain't going to never end. Yeah. Oh, we're live? Ah, uh, what's up, y'all? Welcome to our version 
I'm gonna be taking Corey X Kenshin's spot for a little bit, just a little bit. Right now you're tuning in to Kesey X Kenshin on Spooky Scary Mondays. I know it's Sundays, I'm just taking his thing and I'm turning it around to like a Walmart bootleg version. Shout out to Corey X Kenshin. All right, I've been running from this for a while. Well, I feel like I've been running from this for a while. And if you've seen a couple of videos back on my um, channel, go feel free to do it. The I thing will be like right up here somewhere. You notice that I did this before. Not once, but twice. The big two. And I feel like I've been running from this thing for a long time. Now that I'm more spiritually mature, I'm more of a man now, I feel like I can handle this. I feel like this has nothing on me. I feel like I'm built for this now. I feel like there's nothing going to, there's, there's, there's nothing that's going to be able to scare me. It, it's, it's not scary. It, it's, I have to, the, th the key is, just remember that all this is fake. It's fake. They're trying to scare you. It's all fake. It's, it's, it's literally fake. It's nothing to be scared of. And then not only that, but if that don't work, everything that's supposed to be scary, make it funny. Laugh at it. Just laugh, literally laugh at it. And it'll be all right. I've been doing this for a long time now, so I'm, I'm kind of like a veteran to it. Like a lot of stuff don't scare me, for real. I'm like I'm a bit so I'm like being so dead serious. I might be like he trolling. <laughs> I'm so dead serious. A lot of stuff don't scare me. Nope. 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 I'm not doing that. Nope. You. 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 That. No. I'm not doing that. No. We. What is up guys and good morning. Welcome back to another YouTube video. I said good morning and it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. We know we, we here with the vibes or something like that. It's stuff like that and stuff and stuff and something like that. But I'm super happy, I'm super excited. You know, life is going pretty good for your boy right now and I'm very, very happy about that. I'm very, very happy about that. Now I'm about to go on the beach getting some water and um, just kind of chill and enjoy the moment and just, you know, exist in the moment and be alive, you know? That's what, we, that's what we're about to do. I ain't gonna lie, my confidence of like recording, just like just recording videos in public has gotten a lot better because usually I'll be so scared to do that, but now it's like, whatever, dude. Like, honestly, bro, I love the life that this is because honestly, it's so dope. Like, I kind of feel like a celebrity, even though I'm not a celebrity, but I kind of feel like a celebrity, but it feels good though. Cause like, I, I got um spotted out in public a couple of times though. Like, like, oh my goodness, are you? And I'll be like, yeah, it's me. I'm like, oh my goodness, I love your feed. And then there'd be other people that'd be like, whoa, you're the guy that be on spreading the word of God on TikTok. I'm like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> but it feels good to just be able to be seen and have your works appreciated. But yeah, we're about to go out there and get some water. Um, if you guys can't handle this part of the video, if you're a woman, if you can't handle this part of the video, then um, click off. This is your warning now. Cause it's hot and I'm not gonna keep my shirt on. So this is your warning. You can't. Don't come at me. This is your warning. Ooh. Pretty man. You got Superman. my brother you go at this gangy don't spin me you gonna make it um not work oh. gotta hit your boxing oh <laughs> 
but man, we've been going crazy lately, guys. We've been definitely going crazy. We've definitely been doing a lot of amazing stuff, like, and my skin is messing up again. Okay, no, we just turned it up. We just turned it up. If you watch my videos, like, you know I always do with this every time. I, I thought this camera had, like, a little... Weston ain't focused where I can just audibly like do it, but I guess it doesn't. I think that's fine. Is that fine with you guys? I think it's fine with me. But honestly, we've been, been we've been going crazy lately. We've been doing like a lot of good stuff. We've been um chilling. Like Instagram, we've been we just hit 30,000 on Instagram. We just hit um if you've been on TikTok too, we hit 200 k on there as well. So you know things are looking up. God is definitely blessing your boys' labels, and you know, they're definitely not going unnoticed. So I'm very, very happy about that. Wait, you said the snakes in here? I said it smells like fish and snakes. Oh, I was gonna say if it's snakes in here now, nah, I'm at uh, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Oh, uh, Kisi don't do snakes. He trampled over the head, but that's if he see him and if he not scared. I'm about, to, I'm about to get so many girls with these. Oh my goodness! Like I knew you was thinking it. I just said it, bro. I'm about to get so many girls with this. Oh my goodness, bro. I'm taking this on the cruise, and I'm gonna just play it so softly. Do 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 do. -do. My future wife is about to come with the quickness now because I got this now. She's about, she, she's about to fly to me right now. She's about to fly to me. Now, if I just, when I just, and when I start singing, she's going to be like, oh my goodness, is that my man? Is that my man? Oh my goodness, is that my man? Is that my kids? I'm like, yeah, how you know my name? The Lord told me. He said I got to be here faster now. So he's here faster. And we're going to just, we're going to sing together. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be so fun! After I learn how to play this thing though, because that might take a long time. No, it won't. In the name of Jesus, it won't. Alright, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, continue the rest of the vlog, Kesey. Uh, we're about to play with our guitar while um, you guys finish the rest of the vlog, and I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys the guitar process in progress, you know, as we go. Alright? Continue the rest of the vlog, Kesey. Yo! Uh, I was not gonna just throw my guitar. I just opened it. But yeah, next slide. Woo! All right, Junior, now you gotta throw it really hard now. Throw it to me, though, okay? Only throw it to me. Not over there, not over there. Throw it to me. You got that? Can you do it? All right, Junior, you ready? All right, we're gonna throw this down, and hopefully he can get it back to me. You got this? Catch it. My boy, you're not getting drafted. Oh. I got it. Here, you gotta catch it, okay? Oh. My boy, you're not getting drafted to the NFL. Okay. Maybe I'm not getting drafted yet. <laughs> Cause I, I missed that too. Quick question. Are smartwatches like waterproof? Cause I've been putting my watch in the water, not noticing it. Hopefully it's waterproof. I'm hoping that it is. I hope it clutches it out. But you know, if his defense is not that well, hopefully his offense can be good or his recovery can be perfect. Because if he's not, then he's a dead man. Stop jerking off! Stop jerking off! What you doing, man? Do it! Put your hand on that bottle and stop jerking off! I'm challenging you to a drawing contest, Junior. I think he says he's too above me to do that. Make or something like that. Or something. <gasps> That's a big B. That's a big B. That's a big B. That's a rose. <sighs> this draw, this masterpiece is about to be so masteristic that you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna love every piece and every single art and every single texture of this masterpiece. There's so much work going into this, my boy. This is checkers. I mean, no, this is chess, not checkers. It's a difference. Even though I don't know how to play chess, nor checkers, I'm convinced this is the best masterpiece you ever saw in your whole entire life. You will never see anything any better than this, and I promise you that full heartedly. I promise you, you would never see something that had more emotion, more texture, more magnificence. Present to you, Shaka Fui. See, this type of art piece is a very particular piece in my favorite um, for the reason is why, because it requires so much emotion. Huh? I feel like so much emotion went into this artwork, and I feel like so much beautifulness is just, it's so exquisite and it's so, it's so aesthetically pleasing. I need you on a scale of 1 to 10 to rate this masterpiece, this actual beautifulness. Is this good? How do you feel about this artwork? Do you like it? Bad? What? No, 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 no. The bad is crazy. Bad is not crazy. Is this good? So you're trying to beat me is what you're trying to say? 
My boy, what is that? My boy, what is that? Look. Bruh, what do you call this masterpiece? He has hands. That ain't touching this. We can go to the next part of the video. What, what's the next part? The remainder of the vlog? Or is it going to be like story time next? Or a Q&A? Whatever it is, go to that. I, I got nothing else for you. I got nothing else for you. I'm not watching that. No. 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 We'll sit here and wait. That is definitely not touching that's this. This can be... My boy, that look like a taco. You sure that's a robot? No, that's a taco. Woo! So, this is what y'all been waiting for? Y'all yeah, really wanted the story. Y'all wanna, wanna get into my life. Y'all wanna be all up in my business. I mean, I did make the video. It was me that made the video. Alright, this is what y'all been um, asking for. This is the story how I got blocked on everything. Including the Bible app. Yeah, uh, my thing is like, bro, you didn't even wanna, you didn't even wanna check up my relationship with the Lord. You even blocked me on the Bible app. Yo, that's the, that's the pinnacle of petty. Yo, no, for real, hear me. Like, man, what? Like, bro, look, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start the story up from the beginning. All right, we met on Instagram. We was cooling. Instagram vibes was going straight. Everything was cool. I thought everything was cool. But at this time, I guess, what we're gonna name her? Let's name her Denise. Yeah, Denise. I guess at this time, like Denise was, you know, I guess she was, she wasn't looking for a relationship, but she wanted to establish as soon as she started looking, there's one already there. Like, you know, She's not looking for something serious, but she wants something serious to be looking for her type. I hope that's what she's, I hope I ain't like butcher it or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? At this time, this is when me and Denise started like getting close to one another. At this time, I'm, I'm working and, I, and I'm still working. You know what I'm saying? But it's because I want to be something in the future. One thing about me, and this might be a toxic trait. I don't even know, man, but I just can't, I can't stay on the phone too long. I, I, just, I just can't, like, look, I will, I love spending time with people. I love talking to people. I love, like, hearing about their life and stuff like that, but us on the phone in the daytime where everything is supposed to be happening, like, in the daytime, like, like the span of from what? 11 a.m. to 10 p.m.? That whole time span, your boy is working. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to like, from that time span, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., I can't be on the phone for, a, what, three to four hours straight? That's, you just took most of my day, cuz, and we just talk. We just talking. We ain't even doing nothing, cuz. So why? I, I, I get, I'll be on the phone with you for like an hour or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like something slight, like we can talk, we can. All right, so chill, look, uh, hear me. Yeah, what? This not a Bible video. Um, hear me, wait, no. Listen, I hope she don't blame me because like, how can you blame me? Like, I got dreams, I want to do stuff in life. I'm not saying like being on the phone too long is a waste of time. I got goals, man, so I just can't be like, <laughs> yeah, you crazy, <laughs> what you doing? Yeah, for real, what? Ah, oh, man, you know, I honestly feel like, in my opinion, I can, I can do that for like, let's say, an hour, but I can't do that for four hours, to four to five hours a day? Nah, 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 nah. I mean, when I, when I start getting into the, to the positions that I really wanna be in, where I can do that, then I can bet I do that. But right now, I'm working. Like I got things to accomplish. I got goals to accomplish. God got a calling on my life. I gotta be stuff. I can't. I can't just sit down and slack all the time. You feel what I'm saying? So, I guess that was the reason why we started to decay. Our relationship started to decay. We didn't date. We was like, you know, we liked each other, but we didn't date. And so, she hit me up. Well, yeah. So I was always working, I was always busy, and I guess that was my downfall. I was always working, 
and I guess over that time she got tired of me just always working, 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 working all the time. I mean, I called her, like, you know, here and there, like we talked here and there, but majority of the time it was just me chasing my dreams, chasing my dreams, working, working, working. And put put it down in the comments. And am I wrong for that? Like, is it wrong for me to like I guess I didn't give her the time that she wanted. But the thing was, like, bro, we're not dating. Like, I can see, like, if we were dating type, like, if we in a relationship, yes, I'm, I, I'm, I'm obligated to give you my time. I'm going to give you my time. I got to. But we're not dating. You feel what I'm saying? You feel like, do you agree? Do you agree? Okay, like, you know, like, we're not dating. Or, like, and then the thing about that was we both wasn't, we both were told, we're not going to date until we're 18. We were 17. She wasn't even about to turn. Well, she was going to turn 18 in a couple months. She was she was older than me. So dating wasn't even like we liked each other, but we wasn't going to date at that time. So it was like we're not dating. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if you feel me, I guess that made her upset, and then she just lost interest. You feel what I'm saying? Like she told me she hit me up. She was like, let's talk and stuff like that. We on the phone, Facetime, and she said, hey, I lost interest. And she was like, maybe it's because of new school or something like that. But I'm like, okay, I feel that. But you lost interest in less than a week? That's crazy. That's real crazy. But I, it's in the past. I forgive her, you know. If she want to hit me up and be like, hey, what's up? What's, are you good? Stuff like that. I talk to her, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think she ever do that because that don't seem like something she would do. To be honest. Because, like, I try to make amends with her after, like, the whole falling out. And she was like, respectfully, I don't want your friendship. I was like, dang, I didn't even do nothing bad to you. Like, oh, what? I'm the victim. What do you mean? <laughs> you blocked me on the Bible app. I'm the victim. <laughs> so, I guess um, she hit me up and I was basically telling her like, dang, like, like that, that you telling me you lost interest really messed me up type stuff. And this story is probably all over the place. I don't know. We said some things like I didn't. It was never like no back-to-back -back harsh type stuff. It was it was really mature. I ain't gonna lie. I had some immature moments. I was like adios, and I guess that you know um, didn't you know rub her the right way. Right? And so she got mad, I guess, because I said adios. I don't know. I wasn't trying to be petty, but then I was trying to be petty. But at the same time, I'm sorry. <laughs> I even apologized for. I was like, you know what? I could have probably. Um, I said I don't know if I hurt you or offended you. Or something like that because she wasn't showing that she was offended but I was like I don't know if I hurt you or offended you but if I did I'm really sorry and I, I was like I'm not asking for your friendship but I just want to like you know clear some things clear my name and not only clear my name but settle any bad blood I'm not saying we got to be super cool I'm not saying we even got to be cool with each other but I'm just saying like I just want to settle everything and so she was like I accept your apology but honestly and respectfully, I don't want your friendship. I was like, yo, wait, what the? Girls confuse me. Girls really do confuse me. Cause it's like, bro, what do you want from me? Like, you want this or do you want that? Do you want this or do you want that? Like, what do you want from me? Like, I don't know. And so, after that, she just blocked me on everything. And I'm like, bro, I didn't do nothing to you. You did something to me, but you blocked me. Were you hiding something? And I was just like, you know, I don't even know, man. And so I look on the Bible app and I'm used to seeing her notifications of her like you know highlighting scripture and stuff like that and, like cause it, it notify you like if you friends on the Bible app it'll notify you like when you get certain notifications when your um, friends have like highlighted the scripture or they started a plan or um, when they just you know just random stuff they notify you I stopped seeing that from her and I was like that's weird like like is, is she okay with her faith like what's her like is her relationship all right so I go to my friends list and I didn't see it. <laughs> she blocked me on the Bible app. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I don't even know how I deserve this. Let me tell you what happened. Like, I don't even like know like what I did. Like, she came to me, said she lost interest. All I told her was, it messed me up. It broke my heart. Stuff like that. You know, random stuff. She was like, oh, I didn't intend to break your heart and stuff like that. But my thing is like this. Picture this. You got a plate. You drop it on the floor. By accident. You say sorry to the plate. The plate just don't magically heal up and be like, whoa. <laughs> you said sorry. Okay, we're all good. No. 
you broke the plate. The plate not gonna be fixed because you said sorry. I mean, it's gonna take effort for you to fix the plate. Unless you wanna glue it back together, that's still gonna take effort to show that the plate that you're sorry, you know? I'm, I don't know why I'm trying to prove I'm sorry to a plate, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you get you get the story, you get like you get the example. And so, she was like, I didn't mean to like hurt you or something like that. But I'm like, I get that, but at the end of the day, last week you was telling me I miss you I love you I, I, I want to see you again when are you going to be back in town um because at the time I was out of town for um like a family emergency so she was like when you'll be back in town I miss you I want to see you the church talking about you they asking where you're at when you're gonna be back we want we, I want to link up so after that happened she went to a new school she told me about some other stuff blah 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 I ain't gonna get back that's all her business I ain't trying to you know what I'm saying after she told me all that I miss you, all that stuff like that, you know, I'm feeling like, oh, like, alright, this girl really, like, she a shit W, she, she reaching out, like, she making herself real vulnerable with her emotions, I honor that type stuff, and so, a couple days after that, I get back in town, alright, she told me about, she told me she missed me and stuff like that, what, let's say, let's, let's say that that was Monday, I get back in town Saturday, Sunday come around, she said, you know what, let's talk, I lost interest, I was like, bro, I lost interest. Brrr, you killed that. Like, bro, I'm trying to figure out, like, yo, like, but Monday. But, like, Monday, you just told me, like, hey, I miss you. I love you. Let's link up. So I'm like, bro, were you lying to me? No, I'm just kidding. Was that, like, a lie or something like that? Like, I don't even know. But, you know. I guess she just wanted to sever all the ties with me and block me on everything. So now she can't find me. I can't find her. Well, she can find me. All she gotta do is unblock me, but I can't find her. And I don't know. Maybe that's for the best though. Cause like, we thought that we were gonna be something, but with me and the position I'm in, I'm, I'm, I'm working for my future family. It's not like I'm working just to be selfish or I'm working and I'm not making progress. You know, me and God are like on a one accord, like we're working right now and we're making a lot of progress. I need someone that's going to have fight in her. I'm not saying that she didn't have no fight in her. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to diss her. We offer topic. We offer, we like, we offer her right now. We, we offer. I need someone that's going to be able to fight. That's going to be like, you know what? He working. Let me go work too. He been, he's he's working to, he's working to be something in life. Dang, that's a revelation. He working to be something. Let me go work to be something too. And so when he done working, I right, bet. Let me hit him up now. Da 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 da. Let's talk stuff like that. I miss you, genuine Tom. I'm down. I'm I'm down. Type stuff. But like, talk to me. Like, let me know. Don't just I, I expect him to ask me out. So, Stop doing that because you're expecting someone to do exactly what you're planning inside of your head without telling them to do it, without letting them know. I'm not saying give like little baby hints like, huh, I let you know I liked you. I liked your Instagram post. Bro, stop. That's childish. Say it with your heart, man. But I don't know. If you're out there and if you're seeing this video, you're cool. You know, I ain't got no bad blood to you. I don't, I don't got like no hatred towards you. I ain't got like no envy towards you or no jealousy or no, I don't even like you. I don't want you around me. No, to be honest, if you were to text me right now, like on some genuine stuff, only on some genuine stuff, you'll be like, hey, how are you been? I'll text you back. And I'll ask you the same thing. Not because I'm a sucker or something like that, or I'm a little simp, or I'm just, oh my goodness, I miss her so much. Nah, it's because I'm mature. Just out of, just out of maturity, nah. Just out of maturity, you know? Hey, it was in the past. Let's keep it there. Talk, blah, 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 blah. We're good. Bow. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, until then, it's me and the Lord. Yeah. All right. <laughs>